Hi, BJ Posnacki. I wanted to go over just some basic frost proof hose bib information in this video. So a lot of the newer houses now have a frost proof hose bib or frost proof silcock. And what this looks like, if we were to look at it from a profile, if we were to take this out of the wall, is it's a long tube or a chamber that runs inside the house where it's warm, okay, it protrudes into a conditioned space past the insulation. And this, it has a tube with a rod that runs through it and it, when it actually closes, it actually turns the water off inside the house. So it's very important, especially if you live in a freezing temperature area, a freezing climate that there's nothing on uh you don't leave any hoses timers caps anything on these hose bibs because how it's designed is when you turn this off the water is actually cut off inside the house they come in i believe six eight ten and twelve inch lengths and it co and it turns off inside the house where it's warm so in addition, so just make sure when you're coming into the fall season or the temperatures start dropping, that you make sure that there's nothing on here that can trap water inside the chamber. Otherwise, what can happen is if, let's just say, you leave a hose on here and there's water, you leave a hose with a, with a, um, with a nozzle on it and water, it's full of water. Now that water freezes, it will freeze inside here and then crack the pipe inside the wall. And then next time you go to turn the water on, being that the water turns off all the way at the start of this hose bib, it will actually leak back into the house. So it's very important to make sure that you just don't have anything on the hose bib coming into the, um, into the colder temperature uh, times of the year. Now they also have a uh, anti-siphon valve on them so this is just so that um no water comes it's like a backflow preventer so that no water comes back into the water supply because naturally this is hooked up to your plumbing and uh they're had they've they've redesigned these a few years back and put an anti-siphon on these um because uh, what's happened in the past is people would be using the uh, canister fertilizing sprayers and that contaminated water would actually come back into the water supply and there's actually been some health issues. So so you have this anti-siphon here that um, every once in a while when you turn it on you may get a water you may get some water that spurts out of here. So and that's and that's perfectly common to experience that. So just make sure coming into wintertime that you remove anything. Hoses, timers, caps, nothing can be on these and they will function and operate properly. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Please like and subscribe.